Okay, there's a lot of things in the new Microsoft Edge, but one of the more recent uh, additions is the ability to capture anything within your browser. So I'm going to bring up my website here and we'll take a look at this. Now to enable this, because it's not enabled by default, you go to the three dots over here and you go down here to where it says settings. Now you go to the initial settings page, but here you want to click on appearance and you'll see a bunch of different switches here to customize your toolbar. Okay, and we're going to look at some of the other ones real quick, but for example, uh, if you see here, uh, I have one here for history. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on, and the history button will appear up there in the top right. But one we're going to talk about today is the web capture button. And I'm going to turn that one on as well. So once we turn that on, you'll see up here, uh, it also appears up here. And matter of fact, uh, while we're here and we uh, see the buttons up there, I'm going to turn on the share button in case you don't have that. Uh, you can share, and I have another video on that. Uh, but let's go take a look at it now that we have this enabled. So now that we have that enabled, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to go to a, well, I'll go to my website. Uh, you know what? Maybe not. Maybe uh, I'll go to a generic website. So here I am at MSN and I'm going to click on an article, any article, and there's a new uh, super site. And you don't want to send a link to somebody. Maybe you, there's a need to take a picture of a, a certain portion of this page. Well, let's go up here and click on up here, and we see the web capture button. When we click on it, you have two options. Uh, you can do an entire full screen or a section. So let's do a full screen. It's a little hard to tell, but it's opened up this sub screen of your browser. It's non-movable. It's, it's just like your snapshot you're used to doing, but you can't move it around. You can't do advanced things. This is just for a quick web capture. Uh, you can save it. Okay, You can copy it to your buffer. Now, because uh, you did a full screen, it don't give you a, sh a shot at uh, cropping, just to do some annotation. Maybe you're disputing a bill and you want to send a copy of the picture to somebody. Uh, whatever your purpose is, you can do a couple of simple things here uh, before you uh, save it. You can erase your uh, what you've been doing uh, and redo it, whatever you want, uh, until you have what the capture that you want to have. And if you're on a touchscreen device, uh, there's even a way to draw with your, your touchscreen with a touch interface. So once you're done uh, making your annotations and whatever, uh, you do a save and sure enough, uh, you go here and you can save it anywhere on your system that you want. Uh, so maybe to send it in any, as an email attachment or whatever the purpose you want to save it. Maybe for that post on Reddit that you want to make. And you don't have to save it. You can actually use the share functionality. If you look over here, if we click on uh, share, you'll get a list of your contacts up like you do when you're in your browser. And just who you want to, how you want to share it, or copy the, uh, whatever the picture, whatever you want to do. But let's go back and do another copy. But this time, instead of choosing full screen, we're going to say the section of a screen. So we just go there. We push our mouse button down, hold it, and drag until you have that area of the screen highlighted that you want. And you click on copy. Okay, and it's now in your buffer. Now, if you check your uh, buffer area or your notification area, usually you'll see a picture here if you've done a copy, but in this case, I was surprised not to find it. But it's still there. Let's take a look. To demonstrate this in the buffer, I've opened PowerPoint here, and I'm just going to do a Control V for paste. And sure enough, boom, there's the part I did. It comes in as a picture uh, clip, uh, so it's in your buffer ready to be used in some other program that supports images. Just to reinforce a little bit, I've gone here to Reddit, uh, where I'm going to open up a, let's do this one on home automation. And I want to capture not just the picture, because you can right click and say save as here. Maybe I want to catch a picture plus some comments behind, underneath it. So how do I do that? Well, I just scroll to where I want to go to on the page until I have that information I want. And then I can just do the web capture. Come up here and click on that, draw the... Uh, capture area that I want, including some of the text down here, including my witty comment. And I go ahead and uh, say copy, and it's there. If I go back to PowerPoint, do Control-V, and there's that where I can resize it, uh, place it in PowerPoint, or Word, or whatever program that accepts uh, images uh, to be pasted into it. So there you have it, the new uh, web capture uh, function within Microsoft Edge, uh, another great feature that they keep adding uh, to this outstanding program. Hey, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like this video. And if you want to get more, just subscribe to Old Guy Geek. You can also follow me at Facebook or Twitter. The links to those are in the description of this video.